Hi parents, I'm Mr. Billy. I'm the HOD Mathematics from Suchin Primary. I'm going to share with you the subject requirements for PSLE. Alright, this is the outline of my presentation. I will start with the PSLE Maths format and then I will share a little bit about the framework of uh, primary mathematics syllabus. After that, I will share some examples of PSLE questions and the different types of questions. And I will end with some study tips. These are the topics that will be tested in mathematics PSLE. On the left hand side, we have the list of topics for standard mathematics, starting from whole numbers fraction, decimals, all the way until pie charts and nets. While for foundation, foundation mathematics, you will notice there are fewer topics okay, until uh, pie charts and volume. All right, this is the PSLE format, the format of the paper for standard mathematics. You will notice there are paper one and paper two. Paper one consists of booklet A and booklet B. Okay. All together, the duration is one hour. Now, for this paper one, students are not allowed to use calculator. So basically, this paper one test on speed and accuracy. While on paper two, Okay, the duration is 1 hour 30 minutes. You'll notice that there are some long answer questions that has 3, 4, or 5 marks. For this paper 2, calculators is allowed. This is the format for foundation maths paper. Again, we have paper 1 and paper 2. The duration for uh, both paper one paper two is one hour. Okay. Again, for paper two, calculator is allowed. Now, parents may be interested to know what kind of questions will be tested in PSLE mathematics. Now, I want to answer by showing you the Singapore mathematics framework. You will notice this pentagon with the five main aspects. We have skills, concepts, processes, metacognition, and attitudes. I would like to highlight the skills and concepts. Now, these are what we usually uh, see in the textbook, how to perform certain operations, and how to understand concepts of fractions, decimal, and so on. But there is also this aspect on mathematical processes, and this is very important. It involves reasoning, communication, and also thinking skills and heuristics. All right. Let me share one example on the emphasis on mathematical processes. From this question, 2 divided by 1 third equals, okay, most students will know that they have to change division to multiplication and they invert the fraction from 1 third become 3 out of 1. So it will give them 6. But what does it mean? During math lesson, the teacher will explain. Actually, it means how many groups of one third are there in two holes? Now, the answer is six. How does it look like? You will see the diagram on the right. There are two holes. If we divide the holes equally into thirds, then we'll notice all together, we will get six thirds. So that is the meaning of this division. Okay. Another example is the use of thinking skills and strategies to solve problems. For example, using model drawing, you will notice that this strategy is very useful, very powerful, and can be used to represent their mathematical understanding. Now, there are a few types of questions in PSLE mathematics. First type is uh, the, the first level, 
we call it the recall and perform computation. Now in this type, the students are expected to just recall mathematics facts, concepts, formula, and then perform straightforward computation. Moving to another level is understand and apply. So the students need to interpret information. They need to understand the context and apply the mathematical concepts and skills. While the next level is reason and analyze. So the students are expected to reason mathematically, analyze information and make inferences. They also need to select appropriate strategies to solve problems. All right. Let me share a few actual examples. This question is uh, testing the concept of numbers and the item type is recall concepts. There were 212,089 visitors to a tourist attraction last year. Express this number to the nearest thousand. So students are just expected to recall how to round numbers to the nearest thousand. Then they will immediately get the answer. This is another type of example on geometry. Uh, recall facts and concepts. Okay, measure and write down the size of angle PQR. So students in this case just need to recall how to use a protractor to measure angle and how to do it accurately. Now, the second part of this question is uh, testing on uh, understanding and the application of the concept of angles and four-sided figure. PQ and QR form two sides of a trapezium PQRS. PS is parallel to QR. PS is twice the length of QR. Complete the drawing of trapezium PQRS. So, first, students need to recall the properties of trapezium. So, there should be one pair of parallel lines. And then, they need to apply in this context which two lines are parallel. And then, they need to understand that which line is twice the length of which line. So, after they apply that concept, they should arrive at this answer. Here's another question on pie chart. Again, on this is on understand uh, and apply mathematical concept. The pie chart shows the number of four types of pens sold by a shop last week. Which bar graph best represent the information in the pie chart? There are four options given. Students need to understand that part B and part D has equal amount. So from the four options given, option 1 is definitely out. Next, comparing part A and C, we should notice that part A is larger than part C. So back to the option. Option 2 is not the answer. Option 4 is not the answer. So the answer is option 3. So they need to apply the understanding in this context. Now, this is um, a question again on numbers, number pattern, but the students are expected to analyze information and apply appropriate strategies. All right. A repeated pattern is formed using the numbers 1 and 0. The first 18 numbers are shown below. What is the sum of the first 100 numbers? So the students need to analyze this uh, number pattern and they need to identify the repeated pattern, which is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. They need to test that this pattern is repeated. Next, they need to find the number of complete sets of pattern. Because we have 100 numbers, so how many groups of 6 are there? There are 16, 
and remainder 4. So in order to find the sum of the 16 sets, it is basically 16 times 4. But because there are four, there are remainder of four. So in the in the first four digits of the pattern, we should have one zero one zero, which is another two. So altogether, there are sixty six. You notice that in these questions, students need to analyze, and they need to uh, reason in order to solve this question. Another question on uh, analyzing information. Each of the three cards shown is printed with a different whole number. The smallest number is 23. When these numbers are added two at a time, the sums are 61, 71, and 86. What is the largest number on the cards? All right, so because there are three sums, 61, 71, 86. Okay, the students are expected to think and reason which numbers, which two numbers will give them these sums. So the reasoning expected is, in order to get 71, the, the middle, you need to add the smallest and the biggest number. So, since we know 23 is the smallest number, the biggest number will be 71 minus 23 equals 48. Now I'm going to share some of the common mistakes made by the students. Number one is transfer error. You notice in this example, actually in the first equation, the calculation is correct but then the student transfers the value wrongly. So this will uh, result in inaccuracy of the final answer. Another type is wrong use of equal sign. Okay, in this example, Mr. Tan spent two-fifths of his money. He's left with $12. All right. So after spending two-fifths, Mr. Tan is left with three-fifths. And these three fifths represent twelve dollars, but the students cannot write three fifth equal to twelve because three fifth is basically zero point six, which is not twelve. So what they need to use is arrow or use a dash to uh, to show that this represent a value. Another common mistake is writing incorrect mathematical equation. For example, 20 plus 10 equals 30. And then the student wants to write another equation, but they cannot combine uh, the two equations because they are not equal. Another common mistake is omission or incorrect units of measurement. For example, one kilometer is supposed to be 1,000 meters. Then if the child converts wrongly, then it will affect the calculation. I want to share this article uh, quite some time ago on uh, PSLE maths. Uh, I know some parents uh, could be a little bit worried about the level of difficulty of some of the uh, PSLE questions. Now, I would like to share a few takeaways for both teachers and parents. First, PSLE paper usually include a few novel items, but in totality, there are allocation for easy questions, medium questions, and difficult questions. All right. Next, to solve these questions, students need to have strong understanding of mathematical concepts. Now, even for the difficult questions, they, the students don't need to use a new formula. 
or something that they haven't learned in school? All the, these questions make use of concepts that the students have learned, but the students are expected to apply it in a different context. That's, therefore, understanding is very important and teachers and parents need to encourage the child to explain their working, take correction seriously, so they can be prepared for the different types of questions. So how parents can support their child? Number one, monitor the homework completion. It's very important. Get your child to present his or her work clearly and systematically. It shows their understanding and it will avoid careless mistakes. Next, encourage your child to have regular revision. Okay. We need practice revision for mathematics. So it is good to reattempt questions where correction has been done for previous mistakes. This will ensure that the students learned from their past mistakes and they, they know how to uh, do the, 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 the correct solution. Next, get the formula right. For example, area of rectangle is length times breadth and so on. And commit certain facts into memory. For example, in terms of conversion from decimal to fraction to percentage. 0 0.5 equals to half equals to 50%. Now, if they commit these facts into memory, it will help them with their speed and accuracy, especially for paper one. Next, build time management skills. When doing a timed practice, get your child to complete the practice within the given time. Usually before uh, SA1 or SA2, the teacher will uh, give practice paper from previous years. So it is good if the child can try to solve, complete the paper within the time given. It will help them bring, uh, uh, build their rigor for the paper. Okay, some exam tips. Uh, it's very important to understand, study the question before they make attempt to solve it. So in class, teachers will uh, ask the students to underline or annotate important information in word problems. This will ensure that they don't miss key information and they understand uh, what information has been presented in the question. Do not dwell too long on a question. Skip questions when uh, unsure of the approach to solving them and return to complete them later on. Attempt all questions. Sometimes the students are not sure uh, how to get the final solution. It is fine because usually there are method marks allocated for the questions. So even if the final answer is uh, wrong, as long as the steps are presented clearly, correctly, method marks will be awarded. And then, uh, because of that, need to show all the math equations and workings. And finally, check the accuracy of the calculations. Uh, when calculators are allowed, need to familiarize the functions required so they, they don't uh, make unnecessary mistakes. All right, that's my presentation on the PSLE mathematics. Thank you. For further queries, you may consult your child's math teacher. Thank you very much.